Hi, I'm Andrea Harkins, the martial arts woman. Today I want to talk to you about kids and leadership. I know, I know, it seems like those two things are at different ends of the spectrum. But in reality, kids are our future leaders. As martial artists and martial arts instructors, there are many ways that we can help them in their leadership journey. In class, students learn the basics, kicks and punches and blocks and whatever style you happen to teach. Um, they pick up all the different lessons that you have to offer and practice too. But the other thing that they learn from you is positivity and a great mindset. So along with improving their self-confidence and their belief in themselves through the physical parts of their practice, they also get a chance to improve their mental practice. And that's something not a lot of kids get to do. They look up to you as a leader, and so you're a great role model for them. And they're gonna to wanna to do what you do and, and teach how you teach. And so just by being there and being a good instructor, you're teaching them valuable leadership skills. There's a few other things that you can do to help your students be better leaders. You can assign them small tasks that help you in the dojo or in your karate school or your martial arts school. Little things just like taking attendance or handing out stickers to the younger students. Or perhaps they can help you put equipment away or do some of your paperwork. Or just learn how to be junior instructors, which is a really big leadership role. Sometimes kids will come to you asking if they can help. And that's a sure sign that they're willing to step out of their regular role as just a student into something a little bit more. And that's a great leadership quality. I know that you may not realize how much you do for all of your students. And as a martial arts instructor, you're teaching them self-confidence, perseverance, patience. And when a person has those life skills under their belt, they're going to be a great leader someday. Leadership comes in many different roles and even the young children can learn some of these leadership steps. Everyone can find a place to learn the life skills that they need to grow as a person and as a leader down the road. And you know what? Even you will become a better leader by teaching others what you know. So all around, your chance to teach and help these kids grow is so essential. You don't find this in many other sports. There are not a lot of other venues where kids are gonna have opportunities to grow in their personalities and in their strengths and have the opportunity to have some kind of leadership role. So it's your responsibility and I hope that you step up and let these kids know how important they are when they feel good about themselves, they're going to be willing to learn from you and they're going to be very excited about trying new challenges that you can offer them. Kids and leadership, I think they do go together after all. And I hope as a martial artist, you realize how important you are to the lives of all of your students, especially the kids who enter your program. Give them something to strive for more than just their belt levels uh, and you're going to see a great change in their lives in the future. From me to you, one martial artist to another, one instructor to another, thanks so much for all you do. And just remember, the kids in leadership are our future, and we can all work together to make it better. Thanks so much. Again, I'm Andrea Harkins, the martial arts woman.